Greetings to all my fellow surgeons and dear colleagues. Hi, this is Dr. Simanchal Goyal and it's been 50 days since I uploaded my last video. It's been really fun. The past two months I have implanted toric IULs, multifocals, continuous range of vision IULs, EDOF lenses and it's been a really fun time. That's why I was not able to upload some good stuff. You better watch out in some coming months. I'm going to upload some really, really cool and fun stuff for you all to learn new things in cataract surgery. So we'll be starting um, today with the case which I have mentioned as a complete misadventure. One of the most hardest cases that I have operated. I won't tell you the end result of the case. And as you can see, the patient is having this intumescent hypermature cataract with a high intralenticular pressure which is threatening a rex's run out a capsular rip any moment in the entire surgery and to complicate factors and the surgery even further the patient is highly highly uncooperative the patient is in uh, is is an illiterate patient he belongs um, he, 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 he is not able to understand what I am trying to tell him I'm continuously telling him to look into the light but he is not able to get my message even slightest bits of photons are not able to cross his cataract and go to his retina to 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 make him more cooperative and as soon as we hit the anterior capsule you can see this milky fluid coming out i have spontaneously i have, I have intentionally slowed down the video for you to notice how i make a rexis in this case as a successful rexis in these cases will be 50 percent of the fight will be over if i make a successful rexis in cases like these expressing the milky fluid out with visco expression i'll be I'll be I'll be using as I'm confident with my cystitome I'll be using a cystitome only to make a rexis which is slightly difficult for amateur surgeons in your early years I would in your early uh, career I would suggest you to always use a rexis forceps in place of a cystitome but I have told my OT assistant to keep a forceps for standby purposes but I'll be proceeding ahead with the cystitome itself and yes, I am using a combination of tearing and shearing forces. It's always good to use a combination of shearing and tearing forces. If you want to know more about what a tearing and a shearing force is, you can, you can just wait for my next video where I'll be putting some differences between both of them and, and a tutorial video for you all to make a perfect CCC. And yes, you can see the movement of my cystitome and how I tear it to complete the rexis in a circular fashion. I have tried my best to avoid a rexis run out situation in this case as it could have landed this case up easily in the hands of a retina surgeon. If anterior capsule rips in these cases, the situation gets precarious really quickly. I have made these ports slightly anteriorly intentionally so that it decreases the egress of visco and I get some window to complete my rexes. As my rexes is over 50% of the war has been won and I will speed up the video to show you the chopping in this case. This rexes looks like a 3.8 to 4 mm rexes in size which will make things really difficult for me just i want you all i want all my viewers to just imagine that you are going to start your case now with me just consider a thought experiment the ones that albert einstein used to do try to hold faco in your right hand and a chopper like this in your left hand and imagine the patient is not has taken a promise to not lick, look into the eye has taken a promise to not cooperate with you and yes you have to complete this case from a 3.8 millimeters 
capsular excess. This nucleus is around nuclear sclerosis grade 4 and you have to complete this case. There is no other choice left for you. I cannot even give some block right now because of the fear of increasing positive vitreous pressure. And yes, a surgeon must have an eagle's eye, a lion's heart and a lady's hand in situations like these. You have to show courage, you have to show those nerves of steel, you have to show determination to complete this case. You cannot just take out your phaco and chopper out of the eye and say I cannot do this case. And see, the patient is squeezing his eyeball tight, he is pushing those structures, posterior capsule, vitreous in the upward direction and he takes his eye he 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 takes his eye towards the medial canthus and i took out the instruments at the right moment if it was not for my brisk reflexes your chopper your phaco can just go through and through the pc resulting in a posterior capsular rupture and a lens drop eventually causing the patient to land up in a retina surgeon it's ot at this point of time, looking at the patient's attitude, I have decided to go ahead with the chops. But with a precious difference, I have taken my dialer in place of my sharp, sharp chopper. A dialer is a far safer choice in patients like him. And yes, I have told my OT assistant to switch the FACO mode to continuous. I have increased the power so that I can get ahead. I can cut the surgical time short even if the patient has some corneal edema i can bear with it i cannot tolerate a posterior capsular rent and a nucleus dropping by so just 50 percent of the nucleus down and i'll take the 50 percent of the nucleus up in the anterior chamber and yes the case is coming to an end and i am feeling i am feeling optimistic about completing this case right now and this case tells you teaches you a lot of things what courage is what determination is what misadventures and calculations you should consider while planning your surgery especially in your early days even after taking the whole of the nucleus out even after telling the patient that the cataract has been done you need to look into the light even if the patient is a fake egg the patient is able to see the light but no the patient is not going to obey me after the surgery was over i asked him but the man confessed that he was not able to cooperate simply because he was not able to understand what i was saying so it's not his fault i guess sooner or later we as ophthalmic surgeons will encounter cases like these but yes videos like these teach you that you will go ahead you should go ahead changing a life under seven minutes Hydro implanting the IUL and let's call it a day, let's call it a case. I hope you like my stuff. This was just another fun and a challenging case, a really difficult one for me. And yes, the patient is still exerting some positive vitreous pressure resulting in the iris prolapse on the main port. But I'll be hydrating the roof of the eye. I hope you like my videos, kindly like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead.